Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Chaos Small, and today we want to talk about the Diablo 4 beta and what you have to look out for. Because as you might have heard, the Diablo 4 endgame beta has started, right? And a lot of people are playing it already and a lot of you are probably just waiting to get into the beta. Well, I have the same problem. I'm waiting for the beta to hopefully appear on my Battle.net launcher, right? Normally you can see like all the games you can add here to the launcher or you can see it under all the games, right? And then you can just jump into Diablo 4. Uh, as you can see here, I unfortunately do not have Diablo 4, but fingers crossed. But here's a problem. And this is really something I have to point out because apparently some people have missed out on this and because of that they were not able to get into the beta. In previous events when ever there was a beta running for Blizzard games you had to wait for an email or you were just looking at your Battle.net launcher because you were not getting beta keys anymore. The days of Blizzard sending out keys is long gone and they are just unlocking the ability for you to play this game in your launcher. So what a lot of people have been doing is they are not really looking at their um, email address anymore. They are just looking at the launcher and waiting for the launcher to update and the game just appearing in the set launcher. Problem is... That doesn't work for Diablo 4. Yes, it doesn't work. Why? Because there is an NDA on this. I think this is one of the very first games where Blizzard is requiring an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement you have to sign, that you are not talking about your experience in the beta. You are not taking any screenshots. You are not doing any videos on it. You are not having any live streams on it. And best circumstances, you're not even mentioning that you were in the beta. You have to be completely silent about it. Do people follow that NDA? No. Unfortunately, the NDA is broken like every minute or so on the internet and a lot of people are just posting videos, screenshots or they experience on the Diablo 4 beta, which sucks. But because of that NDA, you have to look for the email because you have to sign the NDA. And more importantly, there is a deadline on the NDA. So if you're getting the email that you got invited for the Diablo 4 beta, you have to basically sign that NDA. I think you have 48 hours or something like that, 72 hours to sign the NDA. If you don't do it in the time frame, Blizzard is assuming that you were not interested in the Diablo 4 beta and all the bets are off, you out. I know that sucks and I know that some of you will probably know panically looking up their email address to see if they got an email, but please check it because there have been now reports that people said, wow, I got a D4 beta invite, didn't saw the email, didn't saw there is a deadline on the NDA I have to sign and now I cannot play it. And that's really the last thing anyone wants. So make sure that you have an eye on your email address because if you don't sign the NDA, Diablo 4 will not show up in your Battle.net launcher. You have to sign the NDA first before it shows up there. So you have to check your email address on this. Or you might be screwed. With that said, uh, I wish you the best of luck for getting into the Diablo 4 beta. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. And if you're new to the channel, you want to check out like some of the Diablo topics we have here or reaction videos we are doing, uh, guides for new games. And of course, my daily live streams from Monday to Friday, starting at 8 a.m. East Coast, which is 1 p.m. UK time and 2 p.m. Central European time. I would appreciate if you might consider to subscribe to the channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.